Hello, I'm Pastor Andrew Alexander of Healing Word Church from Bendera, Texas. We're like north of San Antonio. All right, well, anyway, I was coming to you today to talk to you about since we have a new president, there's new spirits that have come into our region of the United States. Now, first of all, the United States is supposed to be a godly nation. It was established on godly principles, and it should have been a godly nation. But over the years, it depends on what parties in control and what's going on and what they allow. You know, we have been going farther, farther away from the Lord. And uh, so it's not like when I was growing up, you know, some uh, almost 60 years, you know, ago, uh, when it was more of a Christian nation, you know, and uh, so praise the Lord. But things have changed. I mean, it's become more liberal where we allow a lot of things. And uh, and so this president, since he came in, we have allowed a lot of things against God or legis they allow them to legislate things against God. So it's really important who you vote for because you can vote for uh, a part, a person that is against God, that is for the devil. You gotta understand that. Uh, so when this president came in, first thing he was talking about is funding abortion. So when he did that, the spirit of death came in. The spirit of death came in, and now there will be an increase of killing of babies because the funding is going to be there. More funding, more killing of babies. You know. And whether a woman go in there to get an abortion or whatever, you know, she has that same spirit of death on her that's going to follow her now. Uh, so, uh, but now it's going to be a spirit of death in America. All right. So, and also there's a spirit of disobedience. Okay. And I'm saying the spirit of disobedience because they uh, don't obey God's word. It seems like they, they want to do what is against God. They want to disobey God. God's word is supreme, but they want to disobey God. They want to say, no, I'm going to do it my way. God's way is not the right way. Okay, spirit of disobedience. With that spirit of disobedience, you got to understand that they're going to pass laws to push out anything that represents God or Jesus. They're going to push it out, right? And even though these leaders say that they are Catholics, that don't mean a thing. Uh, we got to look at the intent behind things. Because, I mean, just because they put a label on it, make you being Catholic don't make you right. It's just that simple. The Word of God makes you right. All right, so they got a spirit of disobedience. There's a spirit of, of, of rebellion. That's it, rebellion against the Word of God. That's what I'm saying. These spirits are coming to America. They are in America now because of the one person that is in leadership. So we have a spirit a rebellion, a rebellious spirit. We can see that in uh, the gay community, a spirit of rebellion. They rebel against the word of God. You know, they rebel. So we got a spirit of witchcraft. You know, we always had witchcraft here, but now it's going to be more prevalent. And witchcraft spirit is one that dominates and, and try to take rule of things. Witchcraft spirit, it tries to force people against their will to do things. And we can already see this with this uh, vaccination, how they are trying to force every American to take this vaccina vaccination. That's the spirit of witchcraft. Anything that tries to force somebody to do something like that, you know, or, uh, or whatever else they're going to come up with is going to try to force people. And like I said, the spirit of homosexuality, because now this president coming, in, now it's going to increase. Because they're going to pass laws to increase homosexuality and make it more acceptable in America. All these things are talking about is against the word of God. And this is what this new leadership has done. They have been rebellious and they are legislating things that are against God. So you know judgment is going to have to come. And there's also a blindness over our country. Uh, uh, this spirit has, these spirits have blinded us, you know, has blinded a lot of people into, into not able to see or they accept what is wrong. And that's the way the Antichrist is going to come. You know, you're going to be accepted. 
everything's getting set up for that time because everybody's come, coming compliant. Everybody's wearing their mask. Everybody wants to go get these shots. And they are turning other people in. And, you know, if you ain't getting a shot, I'm going to call the police on you and all this other stuff, just like they did in Hitler's day. So it's all becoming compliant, making them compliant so that when the Antichrist come, people will be compliant and they will turn in their brothers and sisters if they don't accept the mark and do these things. It's all working uh, towards that plan. You know, like I said, but there is a blindness of this nation. This nation has become blind to the will of God. You know, they thinking that what this government can do, you know, the things that they're going to give them, and that's what they do. They give them things to keep them in subjection and keep them in control. You know, so they, you know, they become blind. Their eyes are blind, the enemy. And all it is is the devil that is blinding the eyes of the people so that they cannot see what is right and see what is wrong. You know, they're blinded. And that's because of this president. Because of this president. All right. So what we got to do, our nation has to do is start repenting. We have to start repenting as a nation. We have to repent of these things, right? And we need to turn back to God. We got to say no to those uh, new laws that they're going to come out with that's going to legislate against God. That's really pushing us into uh, the end time is what they're really doing. And, uh, you know, into Solomon and Gomorrah, you know. I'm going to tell you, say, God, God is not worried. He's not worried. You know, he got his people who's going to stand for him and is going to preach the gospel and do these things, you know. But, I mean, everybody has to make their own choice, you know, whether they're going to serve God or not. You know, they have to make their own choice. You know, and, you know, uh, heaven and hell is in your own hands, you know, basically. But what we try to do is lead people in the right way. But because of this uh, new government, it's going to be a great deception because people want money. You know, people want the government to give them things. And when, you, when they give you things, it comes at a cost. Just like, uh, you know, a lot of people, they got the stimulus checks and everything, and now they go on to get their income tax. What are they doing? They're taking it back. Give us that money back. You're getting your unemployment. You got all this unemployment. When you go fight tax, we want our money back. Well, what do you think they want to do? They want to give you things to draw them in, to draw you in, to make you more compliant and make you think that you're getting something from them, you know but you're not getting anything. They're going to get something from you. And what they're doing is changing your heart and your mind thinking that this is a better way. It is not a better way. God's way is always the best way. God's way is always the best way. And that's the way that we got to go, God's way. But like I say, these spirits are over America. Maybe I don't have them all down. But in prayer, these are some things that I was seeking God for. And these spirits are in America. So take a look. Take a look at what's going on, what's happening. You know, look at, look at especially this gay agenda, how he's going to really expand this agenda because he's trying to get everybody accepted. And we see in California, you know, the churches are having such a hard time in California because that governor, who is demon-possessed, he is, uh, he is uh, shutting down church. You got to understand, we, they have to shut down the church and the voice of the church so that they can expand their agenda. The church has to be pushed out of the way, you know? So they have to shut the, shut the church down, you know, to accomplish these things that they want to accomplish, you know? And uh, so we have to fight against that. That's where the church comes involved. Church, we got to get up and pray. We got to fast. We got to start speaking to those uh, principalities in the, in the spirit, shutting them things down. We got to be on one accord and start fighting and remove this division that is between us. You know, it's too much division. You know, everybody trying to be somebody, everybody trying to be great, or everybody trying to have a great word and stand out. Well, no, you don't need that. The Bible is enough word for everybody. So what we got to do is stand against this, in the spirit and fight in the spirit. It ain't nothing you got to do physically, you know, but we need to fight in the spirit. Vote our, vote what the Bible says 
and fight in the spirit. So praise the Lord. I mean, I give God glory and give God praise for this. You know, we need to stand up and fight for this. And uh, so I'm a pastor, but I still am an individual. <laughs> and I'm speaking this as being an individual, not with my title, but as an individual. So I give God all the glory and all the praise. And intercessors, we need to get on our knees and we need to call out on the name of the Lord. And we need to fight. We need to fight. That'll be my Sunday message coming up this Sunday. We're going to talk about fighting. Talk about fighting. Talk about fighting. Well, praise the Lord. That's just a little piece of my mind that I wanted to give. Open your eyes, people. The Bible says the blind shall lead the blind and they both shall fall in the ditch. Open your eyes and don't let these people lead you to hell. Open your eyes. Well, praise the Lord. I said this is Pastor Andrew Alexander. God bless you. Until next time.